on a big uh, towel that will be great or a big cushion, you know, something that you can put beneath. I have like big pillows sometimes that I put beneath in order to elevate my hips because if you have some intense, you know, some tense in your hips, you don't want to elevate it and it's might be painful later on when you have to move. So do you need anything to put below? No, I should be okay. You'll be okay? Yeah, All I right. have my clothes behind me and on the side of my knee. Okay, so we're going to start just by centering in and you're going to close your eyes. You're going to bring the palms up and maybe two fingers to touch, the palm and the index finger. And then we're going to close our eyes, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling, slowly and gently inhaling, and exhaling. As you inhale, you inhale good things, good positive thoughts, and exhaling everything you don't need. Inhaling, exhaling. Think about the word you want to inhale that has good vibration. And then exhaling, something negative that you don't wish to have anymore. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. We're going to inhale and exhale very softly. In a very, very easy way. Inhale from your nose to your throat, to your heart, to your lungs, all the way to your belly, and then exhaling all the way out. As you inhale, you inhale beautiful, bright white light, releasing darkness, breathing strength, facing the roof for a better future. And then exhaling darkness and unnecessary things. Laying down maybe, or maybe sitting down the way you are, just releasing tension from your eyebrow, from your jaw. Nothing is locked, everything is just relaxed. Front of your head is trying to reach to the ceiling, eyes are closed. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling in the count of five, holding for two, exhaling for four. Inhaling, one, two, three, four, five, holding for two, one, two, exhaling, one, two, three, four. Inhaling the count of five, one, two, three, four, five, holding in the count of three, one, two, three, exhaling in the count of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhaling, one, two, three, four, five, holding, one, two, exhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six, Inhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Holding, one, two. Exhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six. Going on your own a few more times at your own pace. Coming to yourself. Beautiful. Centering in, bring both arms to touch in front of your heart, diamond shape here. Bow your head down slowly. Inhale, lifting your head up. We're going to chant the arm three times together. You can do it loud, you can do it soft, you can do it very, very low. Whatever you feel comfortable for you. Inhaling. 
Exhaling toes down, looking forward. Inhaling, pulling everything in. Exhaling, looking forward. Inhaling, pulling in. Exhaling, looking forward. Beautiful. Bring both toes to touch over there on the ground, as you can see me, and bring your right leg back all the way, and give your shin over there to your twin muscles, a nice, nice stretch, as you're going to look forward. Beautiful. Exhale, bring back to the ground, left switch sides. The left leg is going back all the way, stretching. Beautiful. And then releasing, let's do it one more time. Bring your right leg back, nice long stretch. And then releasing down. And then do the same thing with your left leg. Nice long stretch. Beautiful. And release. So from here, what we're going to do slowly, we're going to move ourselves forward. Our hands will move forward. And then you're going to curve your back, just like I'm doing right now, lifting up your right hand high to the sky, and then just thread the needle, bring it in between your armpit to the other side, lay down, and just lay down on your shoulder as you stretch your left hand forward. Beautiful. Stay here, feeling the stretch. And then finding your way up very slowly. Move it slightly all the way to the back to stiffen your heels. And then lowering your forearms down. And finding your way in very slow pace all the way up to your tabletop. We're going to do it one more time. Moving yourself all the way back to your heels. Forearm down to the ground. Lower yourself and defend yourself to go up. Beautiful. We're going to do the same thing again, but from the other side. So move your hand slightly forward. And bring your left hand up. And then thread the needle in between your armpit. Move the right hand forward and just stay. It's an active pose, so you might feel your armpits having a stretch, your shoulders, all the way your arms up to your hands. It's not just laying down. Good. Fantastic. And then exhaling, coming back to your tabletop. Beautiful. We're going to reach from here to our first downward dog. So the, for the first time we're done with you, then you're going to spike your legs from one side to another, just like your right leg back. back. So just, you know, moving your right, your left. <laughs> Tired, 
Don't collapse, just bring yourself slowly down. Okay? We're going to do a baby cobra. For the baby cobra, you're going to bring your hands closer to your chest, just like me, and bring your elbows in. They're not supposed to be out, in. And then looking forward, inhale in just a little bit to a baby cobra. Yes, beautiful. Exhaling down. Inhale, lifting up the baby cobra. Exhaling down. Now I'm going to explore if we can go all the way to a full cobra. If it's too much for you, just go down and lay down. This way it will be my cue that it was enough for you. See if you can come up a little bit and open up. Good. And then pull yourself back to your tabletop. <laughs> and bring your right leg forward. Slow and bring your left leg forward. And bend your knee as you're coming there to a stand position. Preparing yourself. Just bend your knees. And just shake your head yes, yes, no, no. So Carol, we're going to do another 10 minutes. Inhaling, lifting up very slowly. Good. Exhaling to your heart. I'm saying 10 minutes because the time frame that I had was from 10 to 10.30, but I'm delighted to continue with you, but then I have to do some recording and work here in the studio, so I have to be very careful with my time. Okay? Um, we can finish now. You sure? Yeah, I mean, it's not your fault that nobody came and that we started a little later. I'm, I'm very happy with whatever, but I know that you have a busy schedule, so. Yeah. Um, but let's do a little bit of sun salutation one, and then I'm going to let you go, just to move your body a little bit from, you know, from top to bottom, and then I'm going to say uh, goodbye, okay? So okay, perfect. We're going to go to the mat, to the front of the mat. Back to the mat. Front okay. of the mat. And make sure that your feet are aligned, so they're all the way aligned with my hips. I'm not standing wide, and I'm not standing too close. I'm exactly in the right range, okay? And then this way, I'm inhaling, lifting up both hands. And then hands to my heart, it's called Samasitihi, where I'm standing my prayers. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, hands to your heart. One more time. Inhaling, lifting up. Bending your knees, lowering yourself down, all the way as much as you can. Maybe you can touch the ground. Bending your knees, shaking your head, yes, yes, no, no. And then straightening your back, placing both hands on your knee, and just flattening your back and looking forward. Exhaling, planting both hands down on the ground, bringing your right leg back and then your left. Maybe you want to go to here from your beautiful tabletop. So the knees first stay on top and then lifting up. <laughs> right? Just a little bit. And because you have some sensitivity there, I will monitor and be very careful. Just playing a little bit. And then lowering down. Then from there, I'm going to bring both forearms down on the ground. And I'm going to pull myself chest and then chin to my mat. And then from here, just the baby cobra, like we did before, both hands close to your chest, lifting up, and then exhaling down, lifting up all the way. Beautiful cobra, maybe you're down here. And then from here, we're going to do something that I do want you to explore, even though you're very sensitive, okay? I want you to try to bring both forearms down on the ground, and then lift up your tushy, high to the sky. This will be your downward dog today. And see if you can stay here for the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. You're going to go to your child pose. 
Your toes are touching the back, just like mine. I'm going to sit back. And this is my child pose, lowering yourself down to the ground. Beautiful. Stay in here. Few deep breaths. Exhaling, coming up. And we're going to sit on our mat to say goodbye because time is short. <laughs> there is so much to do. And if we're not going to do it, it's not going to be happening, right? So both hands to your heart. Bang your head down. I want to say thank you for sharing this very little short practice with me this morning. It was such a pleasant to be with you. And I do hope that on Wednesday we're going to have more people here. I don't know. I'll try to advertise on my social media. Uh, it was such a blessing to see you this morning.